It is my honor and privilege to welcome the President of India, Shri Pranab Mukherjee, who has kindly consented to inaugurate the 33rd Indian International Trade Fair 2013. It is a matter of great happiness for us that the fair is being inaugurated by the President, a world-renowned scholar on international economic affairs. He has always been a source of inspiration for the Indian trade and exporting community. It is also my privilege to welcome Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, Shri Anand Sharma, who has always been a great mentor, encouraging ITPO to move on to greater excellence. I welcome you, sir, Shri Farooq Abdullah. Welcome to you all. IITF is a brand by itself, sir. The fair had for long positioned itself as Asia's largest event of its kind and diversity, and has continued to have tremendous significance, especially uh, in the context of the global trade flow, which is gradually shifting towards Asia. The fair also assumes a special context as India enters the comprehensive economic cooperation and trade agreements with countries such as Japan and ASEAN in the frame of its strategic links with SAC countries. On this occasion, ITPO welcomes and acknowledges the active support and participation of the member countries from the Asian Trade Promotion Forum. The IITF 2013 has elicited over 6,000 exhibitors that include central and state governments, companies, individual participants, foreign exhibitors from 25 countries, 10 country pavilions, and the rest participating independently. The number of countries that are actively featured in IITF 2013 are reflecting a growing positive trend to exhibit through the ITPO. The IITF 13 has been highly oversubscribed. The total gross area utilized by national and international exhibitors has been the largest ever at 1,37,674 square meters. To accommodate this unparalleled demand for space, four additional temporary halls have been provided over and above the permanent IITF space. Japan is participating as the partner country for the first time. The Minister, Ministry of Econo Economy, Trade and Industry, METI, is featuring cool Japan merchandise at the Japan Wave Pavilion with 28 leading companies showcasing a wide range of products. Japan is also in, uh, organizing a cultural evening, a first for a partner country, tonight as well as operating a stall to introduce visitors to Japanese cuisine. This year, sir, Honorable President, the theme selected by us is inclusive growth, which is cognizant of the relevance of social issues impacting economic growth to bring in larger sections of society hitherto left out in the growth process. Special initiatives by the states, union territories, and government departments will be showcased that strive to include each and every Indian as a partner in economic development. Participation of industry in skill building and entrepreneurship as a step towards inclusive growth is another special feature of IITF 13. A significant outcome of the theme is the introduction of the Innovation Pavilion outside Hall 14, showcasing young talents in business entrepreneurship and economically viable new ideas and successful results of R&D with a view to attracting investors. In continu continuation of the improvements introduced by ITP over the last few years, we have launched an extraordinary mobile application by which a prospective visitor can access details of exhibitors, products, locations, and events in the fair complex which will enable the visitors to plan their visits in advance and spend quality time at the trade fair. Another first of its kind, sir, is a live webcast of all programs at Hamsadhani on Android, iOS, BlackBerry, etc., accessible throughout the world. LED screens have been put up at strategic locations in the fairground, showcasing the cultural, scientific, and economic strengths of India, the power of soft diplomacy, and the uniqueness of specific sectors of our economy. Another first is the sale of tickets of return metro journey to tokens at 10 counters set up within Pragati Medan for the convenience of visitors with the active support of DMRC. ITPO has also introduced an authorized porter system at nominal charges to enable easy replenishment of cargo. Another first is a live performance by the world's first all-women all paramilitary pipe band and the women commando team demonstrating their efficiency and commitment in combating low-intensity conflicts. All theaters in Pragati Medan, sir, will resonate with the vibrance of Indian fine arts, especially folk, semi-classical, and classical music and dance forms from all over the country. In view of the exponentially growing number of exhibitors, the need for integrated exhibition and convention facilities of adequate capacity, we are developing the Pragati Medan complex to accommodate larger exhibitions and conventions. Under the able guidance of Shri Anand Sharma, Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, ITPO is nearer pushing its ambitious plan of setting up a world-class convention and exhibition complex at Pragati Medan in the coming few years by ensuring that certain necessary formalities are all in place. 
Significantly this year, we have joined hands with the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, to develop a business confidence index and a consumer confidence index based on surveys of exhibitors and visitors to IITF. Apart from the impetus to Indian trade activity and renewal of economic relations with the rest of the world, the fair aims to bring about a meaningful collaboration between the government, industry, entrepreneurs, and artisans to expose them to the world of corporate consumers so that sustained marketing linkages can be established for business expansion, as also to create awareness to preserve, protect, and promote India's social and cultural legacy. Respected Rashtrapati ji, I would like to acknowledge the hard work and commitment of ITPO officers and staff for putting in place a host of new initiatives in IITF 13 and all over the year 2013. I once again welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the India International Trade Fair 2013. I again warmly thank our respected president for being amidst us.